Good afternoon, everybody, distinguished speakers and dear UPA friends. I'd like to thank you for attending this webinar on the Korean Peninsula, Korean Peninsula organized by the UPF UK. It is an unexpected blessing to have Dr. Charles Young, UPF World President, to this conference. Dr. Charles Young, thank you very much for being together with us today. Dear friends, undoubtedly, undoubtedly future historians and experts on the Korean Peninsula will record 2023 and 2024 as the historic turning point of the Korean Peninsula issue. It is because that the North Korea Supreme Leader made it clear at the end of the year 2023 that the South Korea was a hostile state. And he even declared to abolish uh, his pursuit for the peaceful reunification. Having abandoned the legacy of his grandfather and father, where is that leader planning to lead the country? Even in the South Korea, the enthusiasm for the reunification is sharply weakening. It feels as if the division of the Korean Peninsula is becoming increasingly solidified. In this context, this webinar is of great interest and significance. It is very mean meaningful for us to discuss about the European role for the peaceful reunification of the Korean Peninsula. I hope you will have a very fruitful time in this webinar in this high-level, high-quality high conference. Thank you very much. <laughs>